Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rashna Prasad and thank you for being here. So today I am uh, going to review a book and this is kind of a book recommendation too. So as we all know that we are going through a pandemic and we are all staying at home. These are kind of uh, times where negative energy is really high and some of us are going through uh, stress. Some of us are going through depression. So the times are really hard. So you know what do we, uh, what do we do in such times? We you know we watch some positive movies. We read some positive books we do something that we like and times we obviously uh, do something that can keep the stress at bay not fully but at least to some extent right fortunately I was not in uh, in that much stress du during this time because I had my books and uh, I, yeah, I did something that I liked I did I read a lot during pandemic and yeah, I am here with a book that can help you through this tough time to get through this tough time so today i'm going to review this book called vitamin h volume 2 by abhishek thakkar now i have already uh, done a review on the first volume of this series i will link it up here or uh, you can find the link in description so basically uh, books contains quote for each day so author has written uh, quotes from day 1 to day 111 so this book contains the quotes from the next day that is day 112 and it continues till the uh, continues till day 263 and this is a pretty you know pretty thick book if i say so not thick but yeah this has a pretty uh, good volume book contains quotes that are more than 100 so you get a quote to read each day that can lift you up and you know if you can see the cover of this book this is someone lifting you up this is what this book is really about these quotes that are given is someone who lifts you up something that lifts you up something something that motivates you spiritually personally and in every aspect of life this book is not only about spiritual things okay this books talk about love relationships um, your work the feminism our patriarchy uh, this book also talks about how our society is and how to get through the negative uh, negative ways of life it not really gives you you know uh, advice or suggestions but uh, when you read the quotes when you read those one liners or those uh, three or four lines you really uh, you know it really hits you deep and you know what to do you uh, and you know i just kind of tried this uh, one day and i kind of flipped through a random page and there it was the quote that I needed and it does happens to me or not this has happened happened to me before but what I'm just telling you that this book does have quotes that can help you and that are really helpful and that can you know really motivate you these are not just quotes uh, you know and I really love how the author has given a quote for each day so this kind of works like a quote of the day thing so you know you can just wake up uh, every day each morning you can open this book and read one quote for the day or you can just go to sleep uh, when you go to sleep at night you can open this book and read a quote from it so you know just to make uh, so if you have been through a, a tough day the quote can help you the quote uh, could uh, guide you through uh, through that day through that uh, through those issues that you faced so the author has given each quote for the day uh, the, the, the it's like day 112 113 and so on so yeah read a, a quote a day or just read the whole book uh, in one sitting or take take some time to read it but uh, in the end this book is going to give you some hope uh, this book is about you know uh, this book is going to give you some hope some motivation some gui some guide uh, guidance and you know uh, when you uh, see the name here the it's called vitamin h and at first my thought was uh, you know it's obviously about happiness vitamin happiness but when i read the books uh, the first part and the second one i realized that uh, the vitamin h the h means that h could mean happiness hope health and so many things because this book has 
uh, this book has it all and you know even if you are someone who doesn't really like spiritual uh, spiritual things or spiritual uh, motivational things if uh, someone like me you can still read this book because this is not boring you can see you know uh, the quotes they are really small uh, you can read them in seconds so it's not really you know something boring something that's Uh, telling you do this if you want to improve your life do this if you want to uh, get out of that situation this is not doing that this is just uh, this book just wants you to read a quote a day and be uh, and you know feel good this is a feel good book if i say it in a sentence this is a feel good book and this will definitely make you feel good so i highly recommend you guys this book uh, if you are going through something um, even if you are happy in your life do read this book because this teaches you something and you know learning something uh, throughout your life is really important so do pick a, pick this book up i'm going to read you some of my favorite quotes from this book so let's see so the first book uh, the first quote that i really wo- liked was uh, from day 169 let go of your ego and your spiritual life will glow now this is really uh, you know the author is right here you know we all need to let go of our ego in order to have a good life and the next quote is from day 195 it says if, if somebody has failed he or she has tried something new and trying implies courage a person who is brave enough to try something new can never lose in the long run he or she will see success manifesting very soon so i really like this and uh, there are a few more quotes just bear with me uh, the next one is kindness is the staircase to bliss and now i am i do believe in this i really love when people are kind to each other i try to be kind to everyone who i interact uh, with uh, throughout my day uh, next one is love poems exist in time but reveal the timeless and this is so true you know every, even though you know not only love poems even though you uh, read any kind of poetry uh they do exp- uh, they do describe something that is not you know only uh, related to the time you are uh, living right now it is related to the uh, past the future so you know yeah i really love this quote and i really love to read poetry and the last quote is from day 261 naysayers are like clouds they don't allow you to see the light of your talents and don't pay heed to them now something you can learn right so this quote gives you uh, happiness uh, this talks about your health your mental health uh, your you know uh, something uh, something uh, things that you should prioritize so yeah and you know what lastly i would just really say just pick this book up give it a read because this is something that that is not boring that is not a very uh, long uh, that is not something very big this book is uh, not very long so this won't bore you okay so i'm going to leave the link uh, to this book in the description so go and buy the book check it out so and thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye